Hey ADF fans, a real quick video here today. I want to walk you through how to build a data flow that has a single defined model that you always want your output data to look like. A set schema for your output, but the schemas can change on the input files every time you run this. So this is a request that I had to demonstrate this. And the reason why I want to show you this is because it's fairly common. And the way to do this is to use is to leverage the data flow features of schema drift and the ability to build a model the canonical model with a derived column on your data flow. So let's get started. I'm going to use my movies data as my example. So I have this sitting on blob. It's a CSV file. Notice that for my file, I have no schema defined. So I'm using full schema drift here. No projection. Do not use projection so that you can then build a canonical model. What's going to happen is if you look at my data under data preview, you see I have one, two, three, four, five, six columns. They're all drifted. You see the icon there. This allows me to click the map drifted column with one click of a button. Data Factor will build this canonical model for you using a, a derived column. So I'm going to call this derived column as model. All right, so this is what I want the output to always look like, these six columns. Let's go ahead and put a sync so we can put this out to um, back to our blob in a folder. So I'm going to use my folder output. I'm just going to go to a blob folder. And for these, uh, being able to look at this on this demo, I'm going to call this a file. I'm going to call it my file 123.csv. That's fine. All right, let's go ahead and save and let's run this guy and let's see what we get. So I'm going to go with my pipeline. We'll go ahead and debug. And this will take about 50 seconds. So let me pause and come back in about 45 seconds. All right, so we are done. Let's go look at the single file that we outputted that we wrote. Watch this. And there it is, that's the right time. Let's go ahead and open it. And there we see the data for all six of our columns. That is the model we wanna have. We wanna always have this morning output, that's great. So let's go back to our data flow. Now notice on my sync for my data flow, I also did not specify a schema. I've got no mapping at all. This is just auto mapping. If I look at that data set that I'm using, the data set is just pointing to a folder. And that is it. Where it files that folder with zero schema. And that's the key to this. Now, in my data flow, let's say I have a different file that's going to come in. Let's say I'm going to have a different file come in every time I run this. And this time, I'm going to run a file. I have a, a, a data set that will uh, help to show this. I have a data set that is called, it is called Movies Small because it has a smaller set of columns in it. Again, projection is, is actually going to be Zilcho, so let's actually go in there. Just so you can see, it has three columns in it, but you want schema drift on this. You do not want any define schema. So let's go and open up that data set. This is how you do that. You go into your data set, you click under schema, you click clear, you have no schema now, go back to data flow, your projection will have zero columns. Now, when I go to my data preview, you'll see that on my source, I'm only going to show three columns, movie, title, genres. But over on my model that I created, it's going to find those three and give me nulls for everything else. But that's fine, that's exactly what I have here. I've just mapped the three important columns. The other columns, I just wanna write out as nulls, which is our intent with this model derived column right here. There you go, one, two, three, everything else null. Go to my sync, everything should be fine. Run this pipeline, now let's see what we get. Let's debug it. I'm ready to a single file, so it's gonna be, it's gonna take a little bit longer than 45 seconds, that's gonna take about a minute to run because single file has to also then coalesce that, uh, those partition files into a single file. So let me pause, come back in about, it's done. Let's go to our storage explorer. Let's refresh my file 123.csv, let's open. While it's opening, I'm gonna tell you right now what you're gonna see is the same schema, the only the first three columns have data, the rest are null. The key to making this work is to leverage the power of schema drift and data flows. Do not get hung up on the schemas in the data sets within Data Factory. Focus on creating models or no model at all within your data flow. Okay, that's all I want to show you. Thanks so much.